Hey, what's up, Jerry lovers? Today, what we're going to do is we're going to look into another paradox question, a critical reasoning passage. And the way I can tell is basically because of these wordings, apparent discrepancy. So right over here. So let's just read the stem line first. OK, which of the following, if true, best reconciles the apparent discrepancy present in the passage? So basically, we are interested in resolving a paradox. So guys, before actually we dive into these type of uh, passages, let's try to understand and come up with a general formula how to tackle these type of passages. So in order to kind of like make it much more similar and easy to understand, let's just read it first and try to come up with a general formula. So it says, in the past 10 years, so there is a time difference, 10 years, there have been several improvements in the mountain climbing equipment. So the mountain climbing equipment has improved. Good, good. These improvements have made the sport both safer and more enjoyable for the experienced climbers. So people are uh, using it and they're enjoying it a lot more safer. Okay, despite these improvements, however, okay, here comes the twist. The rate of the mountain climbing injuries have doubled in the past 10 years. So you guys can see that there is a paradox going on, that even though the mountain climbing equipment has enhanced and it has improved, however, there are more injuries. So before actually diving into this, let's try to come up with a general rule and a general or simple example to understand what is going on. So let's say, let's try to come up with an example. Let's say the quality of security equ equipment, security equipment has increased in let's say 20 years, the 2020 and the 2000, the double O. However, the problem is that when you are considering crimes or probably to be more specific theft, the crime in 2020, according to stats, are way more, the crime is way more than 2000. So how can I actually resolve this paradox? So a general outcome in our, our general formula that you should be familiar with is what you do is you take the final outcome, the final outcome, oops, outcome. And what you do is you try to come up with two to four factors that what are the basic, you know, factors that are playing a role in the final outcome. And then what you do is you give it a positive value, a negative value, based on what type of role it's playing in the final outcome. So if this is not really clear to you, don't worry, we're gonna do an example here. So let's say that, okay, I'm gonna come here in this bottom right, a left corner. So let's say the thefts are increasing, the thefts are increasing, let's give it a positive value, because it's increasing. Now the question is, what what factors play a role in theft? So the number one that I can think of is basically the thieves, right? The thieves, okay? They play a huge role. And probably the overall population, because if, you know, population is increasing, so as, you know, a bunch of thugs, and probably they, you know, turn out to be thieves, so I'm just going to write population. Or maybe, you know, I can look on the other side and say, you know what, you know, if police force is not of good quality, uh, then we're going to see a lot of crime rate. And what else? Well, I can come up with, you know, maybe citizens or a bunch of lazy dudes that they don't really care about their property, probably they're rich, who knows, right? Okay. So how to attach values? Okay, so if theft is increasing, even though the equipment has increased, I can say that, you know what, I can attach a positive value. I can say, you know what, thieves, their skill of hacking all the system, you know, these alarm systems, these camera systems has also increased. They are pretty good hackers. Something to this effect, right? I can also say that the population has also increased. And therefore, you know, the more population, more the bad dudes. Now I have to attach a negative value to the police forces because they are basically playing a negative role in coming up with the theft. 
So I can say, you know what, uh, probably the police forces are a bunch of mercenaries and they're open to bribery or probably their quality and their merit system is not that great, something to this effect. Or I can simply remove uh, a value from citizens. I can say, okay, you know what, citizens are a bunch of lazy dudes, you know, they have a lot of money and, you know, probably they're just careless, something to this effect. So... Now that I have this, my two premises or two statements that the quality of security, even though it has increased, the theft is increasing. These statements, these factors and attaching a value can resolve them. I can say, you know what, thieves, the reason why, you know, theft has increased is because thieves are more skilled or the population is more or, you know, the police is open to bribery or citizens are a bunch of lazy dudes or, you know, probably they are careless blah 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 you get the point now that we are done with an uh, initial example i think now we can come to our passage and try to you know resolve it using this pattern so i can say okay so the mountain climbing equipment has uh, enhanced and it has improved so when you're talking about the quality of the equipment e equipment okay uh, it has improved over how many times is it? 10 years. So, so let's say uh, 2020 and let's call it 10. Okay, over here. And then it says, however, the rate of mountain climbing injuries. Okay, so here's the problem. So when it comes to the MC injuries, mountain climbing injuries, they have also increased. Now, this is a problem we we're trying to resolve here, okay? So they have also increased in 2020 as compared to 10. So now, uh, using the same uh, simple general formula, what is the final outcome? It is that we have a lot of more injuries right over here. And now our second job is to come up with factors. What factors can play in a role in these injuries? Okay, so I can say, okay, so the mountain climbing injuries, injuries, and since they are growing and enhancing, I'm going to attach a positive value. Now the question is, what factors can play a role in mountain climbing injuries? So the first thing that I can come up with, okay, first of all, the mountain climbers, the mountain climbers themselves. Okay, what else can I can think of? Okay, probably the equipment they're using, the equipment, okay. What else I can think of? Well, probably if I think about the open scenario, like the environment, probably the weather is not that great or something to this effect, right? Or probably I can attach another factor. Maybe there is a factor of wildlife, something to this effect. Probably some b baboons or animals or, you know, uh, trying to mess with these mountain clubbers and they're like, hey, get out of our territory, blah, blah, blah. So now it's time to attach a positive value or a negative value to each of the factors. So what can I attach over here? So if the mountain climbers, mountain climbing injuries are uh, growing, uh, then I have to say, you know, even though the equipment is pretty good, but the mountain climbers, you know, they really lack the skill, man. There is no proper training, no coaching, no proper gyms, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, I cannot remove a value from the equipment because the given premise has said that quality is enhanced, so I have to leave that one. I can move to the weather and say probably, you know, in 10 years, the weather has not that been great. There are a lot of storms and, you know, a lot of earthquakes, something to this effect. And when I want to talk about the wildlife, probably, you know, this place has been invaded by some baboons, you know, some monkeys who are just, you know, messing with these um, mountain climbers and they're like hey get out of our territory blah 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 so now that we are done with our initial analysis with some factors and attaching some values i think we are in a pretty good position to go back to the passage and start eliminating the answer choices so if i start from the bottom it says although the rate of mountain climbing injuries has increased okay that's something we know the rate of the mountain climbing deaths has not changed so death is probably too extreme and we're talking about injuries right over here. So I can cross this one out. In the past 10 years, there have been improvement in mountain climbing techniques as well as mountain climbing equipment. 
So if you come down here, my attached value, then mountain climbers uh, don't really have the skill. They don't have really good techniques. They lack the proper coaching, proper gym, a uh, proper skill, etc., etc. This option D is probably saying the opposite. It's saying that the techniques have improved. So it is increasing the paradox. C, mountain climbing, although a dangerous sport, does not normally result in injuries to the experienced climbers. Again, they're adding experience to the climbers. And I have said it right over here. Let me use a different marker that I t these mountain climbers, they don't have experience. They lack the skill. OK, right over here. So I can just cross this one out as well. Some mountain climbing injuries are caused by unforeseeable weather conditions. Now, if you come down here, this is something that I kind of like predicted that the weather is playing, you know, a negative role in causing uh, injury. So probably I'm going to keep it for now. A. Many climbers lulled into a false sense of security use this new, equi new, new, use this new equipment to attempt climbing feats of which they are not capable of. So if you come down here, I j didn't I just predict it that these mountain climbers, they just don't know how to use it. Probably they lack training, et cetera, et cetera. So A sounds pretty good. Now the question is, how can I basically uh, choose the better answer? Now look, if you come back to the question, it says the best, not the perfect answer. So all I have to do now is try to eliminate one of them. So how I'm going to do that? So if you come back here, it says some mountain climbing injuries, some mountain climbing injuries are caused by unforeseeable weather. And if you come back to A, it says many climbers are, you know, uh, falsified and they have this false belief that just we have this new equipment is going to save our lives. But in reality, they lack the skill. So you see the word some, many, some, many. Which one is a best to reconcile or probably a better option to resolve the paradox? It is going to be A. So now, guys, now that you have basically understood the process, uh, the final takeaway over here is, guys, that if you have a pretty neat process in order to tackle questions, then, guys, honestly, then you don't really need to worry about the score. Okay, guys, this is uh, pretty much it for now. This is ABD signing out, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.